Hi friends, in this session we are going to see the Rayleigh's method which is uh, used for the multi degree of freedom system. Now this method is used when this method is used when there are number of shafts which are sorry number of rotors which are carried on one shaft. So for that I am going to consider one shaft with uh, the number of rotors. Okay, so suppose this is the shaft supported on end bearings and it is having the number of rotors. So as this is the multi degree of freedom system, so the number of rotors must be greater than 2. So here I am going to consider the number of rotors as more than 3 means more than 2 means 3. Okay. So I have considered the 3 number of rotors. Now the inertia of each rotor is negligible. The mass of each rotor is m1, m2, m3. We can consider the rotors more than 3 also but as we are talking about the multi degree of freedom system means it should be greater than 2. So I have taken the 3. Okay, so we can take any number. Now the deflection of each rotor due to its self weight will be like this. So suppose this is the deflection of each rotor. So displacement of this first one I will consider as y1. Consider for second one as y2 and for third one is y3. This is the displacement of each rotor. Okay. Now to solve such problems means if the shaft carrying number of rotors then to solve such problems there are two methods which are used. The first one is Rayleigh's method okay, that we are seeing now and the second one is the Dunn-Curley's method. Now this Rayleigh's method we have used in unit number one in the energy method and there we have seen the potential energy plus kinetic energy in any vibrating body is constant and Rayleigh said that the maximum potential energy the maximum potential energy and the maximum kinetic energy in any system remains constant or same okay so maximum potential energy is equal to maximum kinetic energy so we are going to use this term uh, that is the potential energy and kinetic energy now first we will calculate the kinetic energy of the given system so here i'll write kinetic energy of given system so what is the formula for kinetic energy what is the formula for kinetic energy it is one half mv square so maximum kinetic energy i'll write here so i'll have to consider the kinetic energy of all the rotors and the summation will be the total kinetic energy so it will be just uh, tell me the kinetic energy is one half mv square so one half m1 v1 square so this is the kinetic energy of mass one similarly i can write for two one half m2 v2 square plus one half m3 v3 square if we have n number of masses then last one will be one half m n v n square okay now what is the formula of v here i'll write but normally we consider v is equal to r omega r means the radius and omega means the angular velocity so here the radius will be the displacement because this is the mean position shaft is the mean position so from that uh, if the displacement is y1 then this will act as the radius so we can replace v by r omega so i can write one half m1 v will be r omega r is here y1 omega 1 okay brackets two. similarly write for two one half m2 r omega square that is y2 omega 2 square plus one half m3 y3 omega 3 square so v is equal to r omega now we got the formula v is equal to r omega now just check which term is common here 
so here you can say one half is common and omega is common because shaft is rotating at constant speed okay so here omega 1 will be equal to omega 2 will be equal to omega 3 so i'll write here omega 1 is equal to omega 2 is equal to omega 3 is equal to omega because shaft is rotating at constant speed so one half omega is constant so instead of omega 1 i'm going to consider omega instead of omega 2 omega instead of omega 3 omega so just see there is omega square so one half omega square is the common term so in bracket what is remain it is m1 y1 square plus m2 y2 square plus m3 y3 square okay this term is remain now we can write for this summation as one half omega square into summation of m y square but i'll consider i is equal to 1 to n suppose there are n number of rotors then we can say that m i y i square okay so summation of all m 1 y 1 square m 2 y 2 square m 3 y 3 square so that summation will be summation m i y i square so this is the maximum kinetic energy of the given system okay now we got the kinetic energy now we'll have to determine the potential energy so here i'll write the maximum potential energy now here we'll have to use the formula from the spring topic so here i am going to recall it from the machine design in the machine design what we have learned the spring force is always proportional to spring force is always proportional to displacement so it is having the graph linear that is the straight line and area under the curve is nothing but the potential energy stored potential energy stored in the spring so how to calculate this one so this is the area of this triangle what is the area one half its base into its height so height is f and base is x so one half force into displacement will be the potential energy so to calculate this potential energy the shaft here will be acting as spring so we'll have to consider this formula potential energy stored so maximum potential energy will be will have to consider the maximum displacement so the potential energy will be one and a half into force acting now just tell me the force acting in rotor one its weight will be acting downward so its its force is m1g okay so force is m1g into its displacement x means its displacement is y1 okay so this will be the potential energy stored in rotor one that is one half force into displacement now write for second so one half m2g into its displacement is y2 now write for third one one half m3g into y3 okay so we have three rotors so i have written the potential energy for three rotors and its addition will be the total maximum potential energy of your system now take the common terms outside so one half g is common so in bracket it will be remain m1 y1 plus m2 y2 plus m3 y3 if we have n number of ma rotors then it will add up to mn yn okay so this is the maximum potential energy that we got for this rotor system okay so we can write here this is the summation of m y so i'll write summation of m y but from 1 to n number so here i'll write from i is equal to 1 to n and i'll write m i y i okay so this will be one half g summation m i y i so this is the maximum potential energy but by realism method in any system the maximum potential energy is equal to maximum kinetic energy okay so i'll write here but maximum potential energy will be equal to maximum kinetic energy maximum kinetic energy 
okay so we'll have to put the maximum potential and maximum kinetic energy now what is the maximum potential energy here we have the formula one half g summation mi yi okay and summation from i is equal to one to n and here maximum kinetic energy is just see the formula one half omega square summation i is equal to one to n mi yi square so this is the formula for maximum kinetic energy now in the <coughs> statement we will have to determine its natural frequency so natural frequency is nothing but omega okay so to determine this omega we are going to transfer the terms on the other side so this half will be cancelled with this half okay so i want omega on this side so here i'll keep omega square and transfer this term on other side so here it will be g summation mi yi divided by summation mi yi square okay so i is equal to 1 to n okay now but we want the value of omega so omega n will be equal to will be equal to root so to cancel this square we have to take the root on both the sides so this will become g summation mi yi divided by summation mi yi square i have written i have not written here i is equal to 1 to n because if there are n number of systems then ultimately we are going to put that term okay and this will be your final value of omega n so this is the simple derivation to determine the natural frequency of number of rotors which are on a single shaft okay so by release method this i quickly revise the maximum potential energy is equal to maximum kinetic energy potential energy is 1/2 mv square and v is equal to r omega and in pot potential energy i have used the formula from the machine design for spring it is 1/2 force into displacement okay so i'll just put all the values then by equating kinetic and potential energy we got we got the, we'll get the omega n. thank you